After grounding the CPC, the high current circuit is being wired. The secondary circuit of the CT is opened and connected to the 10 amps measuring input of the CPC. After selecting the test card CT ratio and polarity, we enter the values for the primary and the secondary nominal current, define the test current, and start the test. From the resulting test measurement, we get the test current which was injected on the primary side the magnitude and angle of the secondary current, the ratio with error in percent, and the assessment of the polarity of the CT. For nominal current tests, the burden of the CT can be measured using the same test setup. For this, we take the voltage drop at the burden into account also. The burden is measured as complex impedance. The result is displayed as apparent power in VA with the power factor cosine phi. To make testing of similar test objects more efficient, we save all our settings as a template. If we perform the test again, all we need to do is restart it. The secondary current can also be measured using a current clamp. In this case, the secondary circuit does not need to be opened. Mm -hmm.